In the jungle, the mighty jungle, it seems that there's much more than just sleeping lions that we have to contend with. Since the dawn of civilization, countless ancient societies somehow carved their existence out in the dense jungles and wild undergrowth of the untamed world. And now, after thousands of years, their temples have crumbled to ruin left behind for the terrifying creatures and slithering serpents to call their home. While many brave explorers have attempted to tackle the Amazon rainforest or the jungles of Borneo, few of them have succeeded in unearthing their untold secrets. And from monkey god temples to satanic lizards, here's 15 extraordinary jungle discoveries that are simply amazing. Edward James died in 1984 during a trip in northern Italy. Vietnamese Tarzan For our first brave step into this dark and dense jungle, what better way to begin than with the boy wonder of the jungle himself, Tarzan? All right, maybe it's not quite the legendary fictional figure that Edgar Rice Burroughs penned back in 1912. But classical literature aside, this kid is the real deal. Way back in 1972, a Vietnamese soldier, Ho Van Lang, decided to flee his small village with his two-year-old son after a U.S. bomb killed his wife and dozens of other villagers. Terrified as to what fate awaited him in the outside world, he decided to retreat deep into the dense Vietnamese jungle and instead chose to raise his young son in the wild. Astonishingly, they would have no contact with any other human beings or the rest of the rapidly developing modern world for over four decades. That's kind of insane. In a tale that sounds straight out of a Hollywood blockbuster, the father and son duo built tree houses, dressed in loincloths, and hunted rats for dinner in order to survive. And after a while, the pair became so adept at surviving in the jungle that the outside world no longer mattered. Now, his 40-year-old Tarzan son is so comfortable living in the wilderness that he spends weeks and months out in the Vietnamese jungle before returning to care for his elderly father. It's an astonishing story of human survival and adaptability, and the closest will come to a real-life Tarzan tale. Now let's get ready for today's Missing Topic. Alright, while we're on the subject, let's turn our attention toward this deeply unsettling image that our team recently discovered that appears to show an unknown airliner that's crash-landed in the depths of an unverified jungle. While the airline appears to be a Southeast Asian in origin, it appears to be one of the many small aircraft that have tragically crash-landed while flying over the endless expanse of our planet's jungle environments. Whether there were any survivors, we'll never know. But as we see it, these jungles are home to more mysteries than we could ever possibly imagine. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Klingon Newt While space may be the final frontier, it seems that on planet Earth, the unexplored regions of the jungle are a final frontier of their own, especially when it comes to the discovery of previously unknown species. One of those is the Klingon Newt, a brand new species recently discovered in Southeast Asia that takes its name from the distinctively rigid race of aliens from Gene Rodenberry's semi-final sci-fi series Star Trek. With iridescent bright orange scales that some have even compared to Ziggy Stardust, the colorful extraterrestrial alter ego of legendary musician David Bowie, this previously unknown species was discovered alongside 160 others while researchers scoured the dense undergrowth of the Great Mekong, a jungle region that encompasses Vietnam, Thailand, Cambodia, Laos, and Myanmar. Through an extensive program, scientists and researchers explored the dense jungles, caves, rivers, systems, and forest canopies in an effort to catalog the countless biodiversity that has so far had scientists believing that its discovery may be overshadowed by a much more pressing crisis as its native habitat in Thailand is rapidly being destroyed by deforestation. Without critical intervention, it may be time to beam up this incredible Klingon newt. <laughs> Lost City of the Monkey God Nothing says incredible jungle discovery quite like an ancient temple to a long-lost monkey god, right? Now, while the title of this entry certainly sounds like a thrilling adventure novel, the truth behind this archaeological discovery is like something straight out of a horror movie. For centuries, explorers have headed to the jungles of Honduras in pursuit of the legendary White City. 
a place fabled to be the source of untold treasure and mystery. Yet in recent decades, thanks to a number of journal entries and small clues left behind by ancient history, several archaeologists figured that they'd finally tracked down its location. Speculation occurred in 2012 as to its final resting place, and in 2015, a man named Douglas Preston and a team of scientists headed into the undergrowth. What they found would be so unbelievable that following his expedition in 2015, author Douglas Preston compiled his terrifying findings to a non-fiction novel, and the world was stunned by its skin-crawling discoveries. The team discovered a completely untouched set of ruins that had been entirely consumed by the jungle, and their findings concluded that the ancient city had belonged to a previously undiscovered civilization. While the ancient society's ultimate fate remains a mystery, that wasn't the worst of it. Terrifyingly, the team discovered remnants of a flesh-eating virus hidden beneath the dirt, and it's believed that the civilization was wiped out by this flesh-eating pandemic. In an even more terrifying turn of events, the team were later afflicted by the same parasite. <laughs> Mayan Tayaku Boiling River Forget about ancient civilizations or strange Star Trek-shaped undiscovered creatures, what if we told you that deep in the heart of the Peruvian Amazon, there is a terrifying river so deadly that it kills anything unfortunate enough to fall into it? Yeah, feast your eyes on the Mayantuyaku Boiling River, potentially one of the most terrifying natural formations on Earth. Although many hot springs are often considered a naturally occurring luxury, this terrifying geothermal death trap can reach temperatures of a near boiling at its hottest point, and it's claimed the lives of countless unfortunate victims throughout history. Although it was long considered to be an urban legend, the boiling river of Peru was actually verified by a scientific study that was uncovered back in 2011. Currently, it's protected by a Peruvian shaman in a small nearby village, and locals revere the cooler part of the springs as a natural healing center and a place of immense power. However, if you fell into the hottest waters, your skin would be covered in third-degree burns in less than a second. It's an astonishing feat of nature, and although no one is entirely sure how it's naturally formed, it remains to be one of the Peruvian jungle's best-kept secrets. The river temperature was 93 Celsius. <laughs> Uncontacted people in the Amazon. While we've covered some of the most legendary jungle mysteries throughout history, the truth is, we know almost nothing about the indigenous and uncontacted people that call the dense jungles of the Amazon their home. It's humbling to think that, now in 2020, in a world where we're more connected than ever before, it's incredibly easy to forget just how many people on this planet live their lives disconnected from modern society. Over the last few decades, footage of these people have become an increasing regularity, and an intense focus has been cast on the remaining uncontacted tribes of the Amazon rainforest in particular. Tucked deep within the confines of the largest jungles of the planet, the Amazon rainforest, there are thought to be countless people spread across multiple countries that call the Amazon their home and have done so for hundreds of years. In fact, the Amazon is such an unexplored terrain that it's impossible to know their true numbers, despite the fact that discovering these uncontacted tribes and communities could potentially offer a huge, unique insight to our ancient world. However, tragically, the presence of these people is becoming increasingly known due to societies as quick as they are discovered. As logging companies and illicit governments continue to hack away at our planet's most important ecosystem, the home of the uncontacted tribes may be destroyed before we even know of their existence. <laughs> Raphalesia arnoldi Whether it's flora or fauna, the jungle continues to offer us some extraordinary specimens. And while this next entry may look like something straight out of a video game, its ghastly reputation has become far less cartoonish morbidly known as the stinking corpse lily. This incredibly large bloom reeks of rotting and decomposing meat, which is the result of an evolutionary adaptation that's developed to attract flies to help pollinate the plant. Sure, it's not exactly the most glamorous tactic, but it's certainly been effective. As one of the three national flowers of Indonesia, this plant is mainly endemic to the rainforests and jungles of Borneo and Sumatra, and it can often measure in at over three and a half feet in diameter, as well as weighing upwards of 30 pounds. Ever since its discovery, the stinking corpse lily has become somewhat of a pilgrimage for green-thumbed adventurers, 
as the plant itself is incredibly rare and difficult to locate deep in the jungles and rainforests that calls it home. On top of that, when locating this incredible plant, timing is everything. As part of its growth cycle, the buds of the stinking corpse lily take many moments to develop, but its flowering event lasts just for a few days before they wilt and fall off. For those lucky enough to discover this astonishing plant, it's truly a once-in-a-lifetime event. You know, you just have to brave a jungle to find it. Petrostigma vine, the host plant, but it parasitizes. Here it is going... Satanic leaf-tailed gecko. Nothing says terrifying like a satanic leaf-tailed gecko, right? While we've seen the Klingon next and the stinking corpse lily already, this next thorny entry has recently become one of the most legendary and elusive creatures on Earth. Found only in the tropical rainforests of central and northern Madagascar, satanic leaf-tailed geckos live solely in the safety of the jungle canopies, utilizing their sticky toes in order to evade predators, as well as the prying eyes of the researchers and scientists. The truth is, incredibly, little is known about the satanic leaf-tailed gecko, and it remains to be one of the least studied reptiles in the world. While it's known that these satanic-looking reptiles hunt during the day, feeding mostly on insects and occasionally small rodents, little is known about how they feed and function in the wild. Down to their truly extraordinary camouflage, these incredible reptiles use a variety of tactics to stay safe from predators like eagles, snakes, and rats and they can even reduce their bodies to such tiny proportions that they can often appear flat against a rock. That's pretty awesome. Sigeria, <laughs> the Lion Rock While we've seen some pretty terrifying ancient temples and boiling rivers, certainly the last thing you'd ever expect to find within the dark depths of a jungle is an ancient fortress. Well, let us introduce you to Sigeria, a place that's often considered to be the eighth wonder of the world. An incredible ancient construct that was built by an ancestral king of Sri Lanka in order to hide from his bloodthirsty brother. Situated in the central district of Matal, the incredible stone fortress, which is perched high on a breathtaking natural rock formation, is surrounded on all sides by the remains of an extensive network of gardens, reservoirs, and jungle overgrowth. Incredibly, the gardens that border Singaria are believed to be some of the oldest landscaped gardens anywhere on the planet and its surrounding overgrowth is considered to hold incredible archaeological importance. As the legend goes, the incredible rock fortress was built by King Kashyapa during a great battle for the throne, and it would become the capital city of Sri Lanka. Following the king's death, the entire rock was abandoned, where it was later used as a Buddhist monastery until the 14th century. Amazing. <laughs> Cyclosa scare spiders. Ah, arachnophobes. You may want to look away for this next bewildering spectacle. Deep in the jungles of the Peruvian Amazon, an incredibly rare arachnid demonstrates a very strange behavior, one unlike any other in the natural world. Feast your eyes on the decoy weaving spider, a creature that gets its name from the fact that it builds a decoy version of itself out of forest debris, dead leaves, insects, and twigs. Researchers first learned of the species by chance encounter where they were exploring a floodplain in the Peruvian forest and spotted what they thought to be a dead spider caught in a web. At first glance, it looked strange and flaky, like some fungus-covered spider corpse. But when it began to move, the team of scientists couldn't believe their eyes. Incredibly, the decoy spider was connected by a web, and a living, breathing, smaller arachnid was controlling it. The truth is, such little information is known about the behavior of the decoy weaving spider that it's difficult to assess its significance to the spider world. Who knows what other rare and undiscovered variations are waiting in the wild? El Mirador Containing one of the world's largest standing pyramids, El Mirador is truly a breathtaking ancient structure to behold. The thing is, you just have to hike hundreds of miles into the jungles of Guatemala to see it. Known as one of the most extraordinary lost cities of the Maya, El Mirador is believed to have thrived from the 6th through the 3rd centuries BC, where its population is thought to have gradually dwindled to nothing. Like many ancient jungle sites, in the years following its people leaving, the jungle swallowed the city's incredible number of stone structures, but one of them stood above the rest. 
While thousands of structures still fill the city, none of them are as impressive as the La Danta Temple, the pyramid-like structure that stands at a staggering 236 feet. With a total volume of nearly 99 million cubic feet, it's been calculated that 15 million man days worth of labor would have been needed to construct this gigantic building. Incredible. Hmm. Cordyceps Mind Control While many terrifying parasites and diseases have emerged from the dark depths of the jungle, few of them can compare to zombie fungus. Yeah, if you were ever worried about a zombie apocalypse taking the world by storm, then it would probably start with this nightmare-inducing mushroom. Discovered deep in the jungles of the Brazilian rainforest, this zombie ant fungus was first found after it had afflicted a colony of carpenter ants, which quickly had their brains fried by the rare cordyceps before reanimating as the mushroom's neurological puppets. Terrifyingly, it's believed that these ants would come across the fungal spores while foraging, which then quickly spreads throughout the insect's body, hijacks its central nervous system, and then forces it to return to its colony where it spreads even further. Yeah, the horror movie starts here. Yikes. Hiru Onoda If you thought that the Vietnamese Tarzan was crazy, well, they weren't the only ones to seek the safety of the jungle during times of crisis. Meet Hiru Onoda, a Japanese soldier who hid in the jungles of a small Filipino island during the Second World War. After being defeated by an American skirmish, Hiru Onoda rescued three of his fellow Japanese troops and retreated into the dense jungle that surrounded the island, where he planned to wage a guerrilla war against his enemies. Unbeknownst to him, that guerrilla war would rage for the next 29 years. As the war came to an end, the news failed to reach Onoda, and instead he maintained his military tactics against an enemy that was no longer fighting. Although several of his fellow troops eventually surrendered themselves to the Philippine army, Hiru refused to do so, and it wasn't until 1974 when he was officially relieved of his duty by a superior officer that he finally left his post. Crazy. Glass Frog Alright, we've had some pretty weird creatures so far, but a see-through frog? Yeah, there's something you don't see every day. First discovered in Ecuador back in 1872, the glass frog is often confused with the cloud forest tree frog, an incredible and brightly colored amphibian native to the jungles of South America, and whose natural habitat relies on the subtropical or tropical moist forest and rivers of the region, hence being referred to as a cloud forest. Also, come on, he kinda looks like Kermit the Frog too, right? From the bottom down, these animals are almost entirely transparent. The truth is, hundreds of varieties of these animals are still being discovered, and as of 2020, 14 separate species have been recorded with having distinctively transparent skin, with hundreds more waiting to be found. One of the most remarkable species of glass frog was discovered in the Peruvian Andes and was distinguished by its crystal clear green bones, as well as the fact that its beating heart and other body organs were visible with X-ray detail. While their classification is often considered to be a work in progress, the fact that these transparent animals even exist is amazing in its own right. Hotel Costa Verde All right, the last thing that you'd expect to find in the depths of the jungle is a five-star hotel, right? Sure, if you came across this extraordinary aircraft without context, then you'd probably start looking for emergency responders to rescue any survivors, but the amazing truth is, this faux crash site is actually the result of one of the most incredible vacation destinations in the world. Built out of a 1965 Boeing 727, this bright red airplane is actually known as the 727 Fuselage Home in Cuepos, Costa Rica a former airliner that's been completely revamped to create a luxurious hotel suite complete with custom wood finishes, rocking chairs, cocktail bars, and all the regular amenities of a hotel. Incredibly, each piece of the airplane was brought from an airport in San Jose, where it was painstakingly hauled up to the treetop canopy. Well, as you can tell, it was worth the effort. La Posa and for our final entry into this world of extraordinary jungle discoveries, let's take a look at one of the most incredible art installations of recent times. Feast your eyes on La Poza, a surrealist garden created and cultivated deep in the Mexican jungle. As the brainchild of Edward James, one of the most eccentric and interesting art collectors in history, La Poza first began back in the 1940s 
After a British writer moved to Mexico and was captivated by the splendor of the jungle landscapes, at La Poza, which translates to the Wales, Edward James created his iconic and incredible home, which includes a series of unique sculptural spaces found nowhere else on earth, with columns that look like giant flowers, dramatic gates, and strong pavilions. Edward James created a concrete jungle amidst the lush flora and fauna of Mexico, forging one of the strangest and most extraordinary environments in the world. Well, there we have it, 15 extraordinary jungle discoveries that are simply amazing. Incredible. What'd you guys think? Let us know your thoughts down below. As always, thanks for sticking around all the way until the end. You've been watching Missing Files. See you next time.